there you have it. Triplets, not just twinsies, triplitsies. <laughs> uh, all identical mm -hmm. and had some um, eerie coincidences in their life. Not as much as some of the mysteries out there that you can find on YouTube, but these three sisters um, were all born, obviously, in one area. Again, obvious. But <laughs> what was less obvious is even though they were born in one area, they all decided to work at the same location or same area, same um, public office in Gyeongsang Namdo province. Mm -hmm. They all decided to go there, uh, each getting hired there one year apart. Okay, mm -hmm. ready for this now? They each found a spouse one year apart at that place of work. Same place. Same place. They each had a baby one year apart. <gasps> mm. Yes, exactly. So... And w independently? Like they didn't have any... I, I don't think they were planning together. Oh. They weren't like, oh, I got married, so... <laughs> oh, so you <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to, to do it now. I think it was more natural, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, they just love that area. Uh, I, I guess it was where their grammar wa grammar <laughs> grandma was. Um, and while their parents were working, they were mostly raised by their grandma. So they felt like a strong connection there. Mm -hmm. So they all decided to yeah work, get married and have children in the same area, same place. Not the same people, though. Not married to the same people. But working for the same company. Yeah. Wow. And all one year apart. Mm -hmm. um, the article goes on to just say that this is kind of an interesting coincidence, but it also talks a little bit about the interesting parts of having siblings. Mm. Um, it doesn't get into it in the article so much, but there is, of course, this idea that having no siblings versus having siblings is uh, very different. Now, we were talking to each other a little bit before mm -hmm. how we would love to have twins. Would you like to have triplets? Oh, Not have them, but be tri in the triplets? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I would yeah. be one, definitely. Yeah. But the thought of having triplets, I three can't. babies of the same age at the same time, is it? Now, this terrifying. is my random question. Mm -hmm. Would you consider one to be older than the other? Actually, usually from, the, again, the twins I've met, they all mm. do know which one came out first. Mm. Uh, so to them, it does seem a little bit important which mm. one was a few minutes old. And it's often just a few minutes or even an mm. hour or whatever, but mm -hmm. they always know. Mm. And often they will tell you. <laughs> so, but I'm the older one. But I'm the oldest. Yes. Um, mm. So I think it maybe matters mm. to them. Huh. Anyways, the uh, spouses of the um, uh, three triplets do swear up and down that they can tell the differences mm -hmm. uh, between the um, triplets. Although I wonder if they did like a blind test where it wasn't like, oh, who is it? They just had like multiple pictures from mm -hmm. multiple different angles mm -hmm. that could or could not be. Especially when they're babies. That too, yeah. Then you'd never know. Oh that. gosh, not as a baby. Mm -hmm. I don't even recognize myself as a baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, um, and that's probably kind of where the similarities start to end. Mm -hmm. um, just work, spouse, and babies. Um, they, li they live you know, their independent lives with their independent wants and desires. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun little coincidence mm -hmm. up in Kyungsang Namdo. I believe, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, a little bit before I talked about only child and siblings. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it better to be an only child, what you are, or do you think it's better to have siblings? I think, like mm -hmm. anything in life, it's pros mm -hmm. and cons. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've, I really enjoyed being an only child. Mm -hmm. But I'm lucky. I've got. I've had parents who have made a conscious effort not mm -hmm. to spoil me, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. push me out into the world and make mm -hmm. sure not to sort of coddle me and overprotect yeah. me and say yes to my every wish. You know, yeah. they've mm -hmm. they've tried hard to make me independent, mm -hmm. so that was okay. But I think now I'm as they're aging and I'm far away. You know, they're back in England. I kind of think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a brother or sister who's back in England yeah. who can go and check on them? You know, yeah. Yes, I do worry a little bit, um, but yeah. it's my responsibility, so I will do what is necessary to exactly. look after them as they age. Well done. I think it's no problem. Yes, I, as the youngest of four, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of buffers between me and having to take care of too much. But I still have, you know, every child still feels that 
you know, mm. connection with their parents. They're like, I, I want, well, unless your parents were terrible people or whatever, but mm. in a, a tip or a typical relationship, every child will kind of feel like, oh, should I be doing something more? Mm. Mm. Yeah. They did raise me mm -hmm. yeah. relatively well. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, parents. We're semi-normal. Um, they were semi-normal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts, though, about working with um, family, same workplace? Mm, I guess I, it concerns me. It worries me. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, again, just my relationship and the people that I've met in real life. Mm -hmm. It's often caused friction, tension, mixing yeah. money with relationships, mm -hmm. uh, you know, love-based or care-based relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't think can al can often work out that well. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't do it myself. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure in some cases it can work great. Mm -hmm. Also, do they work in this? It mentioned these three sisters. Mm -hmm. They work for the same government office, yeah. office. But do they actually work in the same office, in the same yeah, it didn't, job? It didn't go into that much detail. They might mm -hmm. not be that close. Yeah, they might be a little bit separated and that would make it a lot easier and a lot less awkward to marry three people from that same office. Yeah, it's this tiny little office and there was only three other guys <laughs> yeah, exactly. there and they're like, yeah. <laughs> well, we might well. as well marry you three. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't like that. Do you know the musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? I've heard about yep. this. It sounds really... Yeah. Three three grooms for three brides <laughs> or whatever, three sisters. <laughs> Trap them all in the office. <laughs> they have oh. to marry now. Oh, no. Uh, anyways, yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you mean with working with... Uh, it's, I think it's on the harder side, working with family. Oh, I remember you did tell mm. me you worked with your brother. But that was short term. Uh. I feel like it, it was like a couple of weeks or whatever. That's anyone can do something for a couple of weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Long term, I wonder. I think it, it could be okay. It depends. Do well, you guys know? Yeah. What do you guys think? Go ahead and tell us. Um, well, let's go ahead and tie the knot on this uh, sort of um, article. Um, we can whimsically or seriously go down to the vocabulary below and try to uh, memorize it, study it, and um, use it whenever we can. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Serendipitous. Serendipitous. Parallel. Parallel. Follow suit. Follow suit. Tie the knot. Tie the knot. Whimsically. Whimsically.